Hey guys, Andy from Andy Goblin Fishing in Central West Virginia Fishing Intel. I'm out doing a little bit of idling at Burnsville Lake, uh, looking for some crappie here out in the Old River Channel. Uh, I'm going to give you my settings that I'm using here. I'm using the, uh, my frequency is the 455. When you look at your frequency, 455. My brightness is at 99%. My contrast is around 69%. Sometimes I'll go up a little higher than that. Uh, you know, when you're hitting your sonar setup, my scroll speed's at 5. My advanced settings, interference is at low. My TVG is at low. So we're going to idle around here and see what we see. There's been a bunch of crappie in this river channel here. I just kind of want to show you what everything looks like. As you can see, there's several crappie right here in the river channel itself. We're going to idle around and we'll start finding some uh, pole timber with the crappie on it. You can always tell by how deep the water you're in by the width of your band here. You know, right here is the center of the boat. You can see I'm coming up a little bit in shallower water. So we'll get back over here into the river channel a little bit more. You can see it's spreading out a little bit, so that means I'm getting a little deeper water. I'm going to show you a couple unique things here on this. You can see there's some more crappie here and over here, but not that much. Until we get right into the channels where they seem to be. They're suspended up off the bottom, and they're in some of the old pole timber that's still, uh, still left in the lake. As you can see, I'm 60 feet out on each side. Uh, that's kind of what I like to do. You can see some rocks over here, some things like that. But we're going to get on up here in the channel where we're going to see a little bit more, more stuff. Lots of crappie, fellas. Lots of crappie. Okay, we're starting to get in a little bit of pole timber you can see here on this side with some fish in it you can see a little bit here we should run into some more on up through here There you're looking here at the edge of the old road over here. That was the old Route 5 that went between Burnsville and Falls Mills. You can see some of the rock and some of the debris there that's been there for over the years. More a little bit of timber, pole timber here with some crappie on it. Some crappie here in the open water. You can see a little bit of debris, some logs and stuff laying over here on the side here. Here we are again right in the channel. You can see a piece of pole timber here with a bunch of fish on it. We'll kind of blow this up and see if you can see a little bit. See all your fish in these, in these pieces of pole timber? You can see some right here. Yeah, that's crappie right there in the pole timber. Lots of fish in here. Lots of fish in this timber. So that's about what I do when I'm out looking for uh, looking for crappie. You know, in the uh, in the in the fall and winter time, we're basically here. We're uh, I think it's December 17th, so you know this is kind of what we're looking for. But this channel here is loaded with crappie. You can see another piece of timber here sticking up off the back, off the off the bottom here, a piece of pole timber with fish on it. Okay, guys, here's something kind of unique to Burnsville Lake. Here is your, uh, this is the water line here. There's a water line that runs between uh, Burnsville and Bulltown. It feeds the campground and. Uh, feeds uh, Curry Ridge in the campground here at Burnsville. You can see the water line coming clear across. That's uh, kind of a unique little thing here at Burnsville Lake. 
here you can see it coming back around just something that uh, just a little bit unique to this lake that's the a main water line that goes between uh, Burnsville between the dam and the campground up here and then it runs up Peach Curry Ridge so uh, until next time guys hey good fishing remember Central WV Fishing Intel your number one resource for fishing in Central West Virginia. Thanks, guys.